Oil prices fell in early trade today amid wider market turmoil set off by mounting concerns over the economic impact of Britain's vote to leave the European Union. U.S. crude was down 23 cents to $46.37 a barrel. The contract fell 5% to end at $46.60 on Tuesday as U.S. investors digested news of an OPEC increase in production after the July 4 holiday on Monday closing trade. While Brent futures were down 18 cents to about $47.78 on Tuesday. Now, the rebounding crude has been fueled by supply outages from Canada to Nigeria that created a perception that a two-year-old supply glut may be easing. But OPEC's oil output in June was at its highest in recent history as Nigeria's oil industry partially recovered from militant attacks and Iran and Gulf members boosted supplies. So, a uh, crisis may also be looming with regards to petrol supply in Nigeria, as there are reports that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, may have stopped pumping premium spirit to its deposits, depots, I beg your pardon, in a bit to avoid losses that arise from incessant rupturing of pipelines that convey products to the various facilities. So we're trying to reach the NNPC to comment on this, but this issue now has caused worry for Nigerians, especially as the Petrol and Natural Gas the Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengerson, plans to go on strike on July 7. Let's talk about some of these issues with Bambo Adim Lui, who is an oil and gas expert. Good morning. Good morning. Well, talk to us about your, your thoughts with regards to recent developments in the oil and gas industry. What do you think is actually the problem? Well, <clears throat> um, talking about the pipelines, I mean, we all know what the problems are. They have been vandalized severally, and that incapacitated NMPC from pumping uh, from uh, Atlas Cove to Mosini, and then from Mosini to um, Ejigo, Ibado, and Ilore. So that has really affected distribution, especially of the independent marketers who depend mainly on these depots for their products. Um, there's a way around that, actually, um, because um, way back uh, when uh, Aret Adams was uh, the uh, Minister for Petroleum, Secretary for Petroleum, there was this same situation. And um, what NNPC did at that time was to take products specifically for Ipman members to various locations, namely um, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, NOJ, one of the depots uh, there. I'm sure there are some that, are, that can be uh, used by independent marketers. There's also NIPCO there. So special product can be pumped there for them. It can be taken to Portacot. It can be taken to uh, Calabar. And um, uh, uh, those from the north can load from Calabar and push it up north. So this, I, I, I believe, is, is a way out rather than um, this situation where everybody is screaming we cannot get products. The pipelines are dead, I mean, so there's nothing anybody can do about that. But before but, we go to this stage where we're seeing that because of the incessant attacks, we're literally paralyzed, the NNPC is almost literally paralyzed, cannot transport this product, couldn't there have been other options that should be looked at before we go to this situation? Well, that could have been. I mean, for instance, one of the, one of the solutions is, what, is just what I've just said. I mean, since pipelines have become vulnerable, you can use coastal storages and then move product from those coastal storages to uh, locations within the country. I mean, it's been done before. We did that, and uh, it was very successful. It just takes a lot of planning and um, ensuring that things are done properly through the right channels. That is, in my opinion, is, is a way out, and um, I don't think that has been explored. And that's why the IPMA members are screaming, because they cannot get products. And so we can't, they can't get products, and so we see uh, the possibility of, uh, of, of course, we're already seeing the price of kerosene reaching astronomical high of uh, 300 naira uh, per litre. And we're also seeing the price of diesel rising. In the very short term, what do you think can be done to ease off this hardship? What can be done to ease up the situation, basically, is, like I said, push product to Ipman. 
But how can you push you see, the product to eat, man? If sorry to cut you here, because you see the, the coastal storage is the co yes using the coast yes. But then you see yeah. there's still that challenge of securing the coastline because yes they're no, not heating the pipelines no, right now, but they could also no. go. So those when I say coastal storages, I mean in Calabar there are so many depots there that can take product specifically for Ipman members and the truck from there. In One, there are, I mean, there are, there are, there are uh, 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 tank farms that are owned by independents and they can truck from there. What is happening now is that predominantly it's only the majors that are getting the product. And the, the, the dealers are bound to, uh, especially uh, DPK and uh, um, uh, AGO, that are deregulated as, as it is, they are bound to hike their price because there's a shortage. You know, so the, the, the market is uh, reacting to a supply and demand uh, situation. But if the product uh, is awash all over, if, the, if everywhere is wet, then people will start playing with, playing with figures. But the product is not there, so people play with figures again. I mean, and by hiking them up. So, but Ipman members, you see, because they are individual companies, and they can take their own decisions. If they get the product, I can decide that, look, one Naira profit is enough for me. Let me sell off and go for the next uh, truck. That is the only way because if you, if you are talking only to the majors, the majors, there are just about five, six of them, and uh, they are very organized. And if they are the ones getting the product, yeah, there, 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 there's bound to be a demand and supply situation where they will, the, their dealers will start playing games. Well, do you think that this is a situation of trying to, to force the government hand, maybe to force the government to revisit the deregulation of the petroleum sector? Well, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, because this cannot really force the government's hand to, uh, to, to call back the regulation. It can only... It can only affect the, 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 the common man for a while. I, I don't think the people in NNPC are stupid. They are not. They're certainly not. And I'm sure that this alternative that I've, uh, that I've talked about will most likely be what they will do. And if my members are screaming too, you know, so they, they, they must find a way around for them. They must find a way around. Apparently, I mean, many of them have investments that are worth uh, several millions, even some of them billions. So the, 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 there has to be a way around to make sure that they all get products. Well, this is a time when we actually cannot have the situation looming on our hands, especially uh, with uh, Pengerson threatening to start their own strike from tomorrow. What are your thoughts on this? They say that um, the, the, the government has not uh, reached the agreements, the, or yes, agreed to the agreement that they reached uh, in their last meeting in May when they signed a communique in terms of downing tools and supporting uh, the new price regime of petrol at 145 naira per liter. Do you think that they should go ahead with the strike? What impact do you think this will have in, on the economy? Personally, I don't believe in strikes. I, I mean, I just don't believe in strikes. I don't believe strikes are in the way to solve any situation. I don't know what the Pengasan uh, uh, quarrel is about. Um, I'm not too well briefed on that, but whether it is about the regulation or their own income personally, I mean, their, their salaries and their conditions of service, I don't believe a strike action is the answer. Uh, you see, at the end of the day, you go on these strikes. It's the Nigerian that suffers. The government, the big government officials who, are, who you are trying to reach, they all have their, their diesel fat, diesel generators, and they have access to, to AGO, and their wives don't cook uh, with kerosene anyway. So what are we talking about? You go on strike and then you punish Nigeria. So I believe whatever they want, they should just go back and get the government, pressurize government to do it. Make, speak out, speak out a little bit more so that many more people will comment on uh, the situation. This is what we want. Nigerians, this is the way we should go. Tell the government. And people will speak out. National Assembly is there. They are the people's voice. The Senate is there. They, let them go there. So I don't believe that a strike action is the solution to any problem. It should only make Nigerians suffer, uh, suffer a little more. Bamba Demoli, thank you so much for your perspectives this morning.